alchemy of tattooing. Wisdoms of Ancestor Tattoo, where we explore and revive the ancient understandings and methods of tattooing for transformation, creation, and shifting into a higher vibration through processes so effective that it seems like magic. Or is it indeed the true definition of magic? The alchemy of tattooing. Hi everyone. This episode we'll be talking about the vibration and energy of lines, shapes and designs, the v- vibrational frequency of symbols and the lines and patterns we put on us as tattoos. This concept is real, it's a technology, it's something the ancients understood and used and it's something that has a profound effect on us, the, the human body and anything that's in the energetic field of that uh, pattern or design. Now, when we look at a design or a symbol, we get a visual response within us. It may trigger a feeling, uh, it may be appealing, it may represent uh, something we are already familiar with, uh, it may trigger a memory or an understanding in association with that symbol or pattern. Uh, these are all things we're familiar with and we have all observed. Um, many years ago I noticed something happening with, uh, in regards to placing patterns and symbols and designs onto people through tattooing. Uh, in particular when using patterns that have been used for centuries if not thousands of years. But you know, also modern symbols or symbols and de- designs created uh, right now for someone. Um, what I was, what I noticed happening with my clients sometimes was an energetic response or shift, sometimes emotional, uh, a combination of emotions, uh, or a release of uh, blocked energy, or an opening up of a particular connection to something spiritual or their inner self, uh, their higher self, their ancestors. Um, I remember the first times this was really becoming noticeable and I had this uh, download realization that a connection to the Modi or life force energy was was taking place. Um, I would have clients coming back to me or writing to me explaining something had uh, changed since their tattoo. Some were saying healing had taken place. Some were saying an energetic shift had occurred and where they Uh, had been blocked in life previously, they now were moving forward. Uh, Many examples of other things occurring as well like this. Now, I understand a lot of this happens also when we're using intention, and I'll talk about that later, but what I was seeing was what I believe to be initiated from the design itself. I understood that there was some sort of energy being emitted from that design, uh, that certain designs and uh, had, had certain causes and effect. I believed uh, lines, shapes and symbols emitted their own vibrational frequencies and there was a noticeable uh, energetic rea- relation to the pattern. And I was like, wow, what, what if we understood this clearly and we could use this. We, we could create uh, designs and patterns purposefully uh, to facilitate effects that, um, you know, this would be, this would be awesome. Uh, what if we really understood why certain designs and patterns have been used for thousands of years, unchanged? Because they're, you know, because they're not uh, only a visual aspect, but also contain uh, a certain resonance and energetic frequency. What if these symbols have been programmed and hold in an energetic information for a purpose? How can we tap into that and now create our own uh, specific to a certain individual and uh, purpose? So I spent years trying to make sense of it and trying to find out a way of explaining it and understanding it. I wanted to Uh, work out a way of purposefully facilitating it. Um, From a young age I was able to see this vibrational line around things 
uh, around people, around trees, uh, stone, a table, um, around everything. Even when I drew a shape on paper, I could see a line of energy around it. And I knew this energy was created by the shape and that the shape was emitting some kind of power. Uh, this idea that shapes and designs emit a vibrational energy is in fact true. It's, it's real, it's measurable, and it has an effect on us. Uh, this is something the ancients in all cultures knew about. Um, this was a knowledge and a technology the ancients understood and purposefully used. Uh, it was the ancients who understood uh, what symbolism was, what it was doing, and what frequencies uh, certain symbols emitted. And these laid into or onto uh, a person, into their skin, uh, added that frequency to them. So in a way we were raising a, an individual's frequency. Uh, symbols and patterns in resonance with things in nature contain the same vibrational frequency. Resonance will be something I talk about uh, later as well. Um, resonance plays a very important role in all of this. When homeopathic remedies are created, they go through a process of uh, vibrating and diluting the physical natural remedy, such as uh, a flower or uh, plant down so far that only the vibrational frequency of the plant exists in the remedy. This vibrational frequency is used for uh, you know, to 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 work on and heal subtle vibrational energies of the body. Uh, studies were done where the vibrational energy field around a vial of homeopathic remedy was mapped. Uh, there's a photographic technique that captures the energy. A map around something. I can't remember the name of this type of uh, photography right now, but it's a way you can take a photo and the energy field ar around something like a leaf or whatever becomes visible. This created a specific pattern on a piece of paper which is in resonance with the homeopathic remedy. Uh, the pattern which is nothing but black ink on paper, was put through the same process of creating a homeopathic remedy, charging a blank vial of water with the vibrational frequency of the symbol on the paper. When the vibrational frequency of the original homeopathic remedy and the symbol charged vial were measured, they both had the same frequency. Both charged vials uh, achieved the same homeopathic effect the remedies are used for. You know, you are achieving healing using only a pure vibrational geometric pattern. It shows you just how powerful it is um, for just a pure symbol to have healing bioinformational properties upon the body. It's working with the subtle energies of the body. So there is an energy and vibrational resonance that emits from lines and shapes, a measurable uh, energy and, and evidence that shape creates a vibrational frequency. Uh, one of the biggest breakthroughs for me in understanding how shapes and designs emitted uh, an energy was when I went to the US and studied in a course of ancient Egyptian knowledge. Uh, these were teachings that had been handed down and were, were all about how shape and design and patterns emit an energy and a frequency and how to uh, create certain beneficial ones. Also how to test and tweak the shapes to enhance them and become more in resonance with a certain person or uh, the environment. Even though this course was Egyptian based, it was um, still knowledge that all ancient cultures understood. Uh, it, if a culture painted on walls or carved into stone uh, or wood or skin uh, or built structures to live in or learn in, they understood the use of the energy and resonance in shapes and designs. Different shapes create different energetic effects. Shape is really a pattern of energy movement frozen in space. 
a pattern which nature gives a specific power. When you create a shape, a point of creation is created within that shape, a point of energetic origin, which is the one harmonic balancing energy. This, this point of creation has a healing effect, measurable by the shape's resonance with the spiritual and physical world. So energy into shape creates function. In other words, energy is programmed to perform a specific function or take on a, a certain power by the movement pattern it is given by nature. That movement pattern, frozen in space, is shape. Uh, lines and shape create energy. Everything is energy. Energy is consciousness. Creating a shape is creating energy, which is creating, creating a consciousness in the design. Consciousness is a product of, organ, of the organization of energy. Consciousness is caused by organized energy. Consciousness itself is an energy field. If there is an energy field, then there is a consciousness. Uh, just as in animism, which is the, the most ancient spiritual belief system on earth. Our ancestors of all cultures understood that um, everything has a consciousness, that there is no difference between the spiritual and physical world, and that the soul or spirit or sentience uh, exists not only in humans, but also in other animals, plants, rocks, uh, mountains and rivers, even, even words. Uh, so when we are creating a shape, we are creating a consciousness. When, we, when a shape is created, a centering point is created. And from the shape itself, an energy is created and emitted. Where there's energy, there's a quality that uh, has an effect on us, a function. Motion equals manifestation. When you use the uh, motion to create a line, you are manifesting a line of energy movement, which equals shape. Shape is that line of energy movement. Energy moves into a shape. The shape determines the function. We are programming the energy for its function according to the movement pattern that we put it into. You know, we shouldn't think of um, shapes, shape as a static pattern, but as an energy circuit. This is where energy is moving dynamically. Uh, say, using hieroglyphs as an example. If you can, you can detect the uh, different vibrational bands coming off the shapes of the hieroglyphs. Um, a French scientist, uh, Louis Terrain, uh, developed a tool and technique to detect and identify uh, the complete vibrational spectrum. Uh, in all there are 12 separate bands of invisible energies. The hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt were analysed uh, using these tools and they were uh, able to detect the different vibrational bands coming off the uh, shapes um, of the hieroglyphs. The hieroglyphs were emitting a vibrational frequency. But what's interesting is that in many places uh, in Egypt you'll find that someone went around later with a chisel and they cut the hieroglyphs once the pattern is no longer continuous and the continuous flow pattern has been cut um, and stopped it's like getting an electrical circuit and cutting it the energy won't flow through the circuit anymore uh, through testing the hieroglyphs, the complete hieroglyphs emitted the full vibrational frequency. The ones that were cut uh, were flat, no vibration, no energy wave coming from them. If we're talking about energy and frequency, and if everything is energy, this has to include all qualities of energy, and not just quantities of energy. Science deals with the quantities of energy. It measures energy in its quantity using numbers to measure its 
qu quantity of energy, uh, like an engine's energy is calculated by the output derived from the physical source. What we're dealing with here is the quality of energy. Emotions have an energy, happy, sad, angry. Uh, these are all qualities of energy. Nature deals with the quality of energy. Color, uh, sound, shape, angles, taste, smell, touch. Uh, we need to see the non-material aspects of energy as qualities of energy, uh, like mind, intention, love and hate. Um, the quality of energy felt between a mother and child. Healing energy. These, all these are qualities of energy. The ancients understood this and worked with uh, this. The uh, shamans worked with the quality of energy. So when we tattoo a symbol uh, or a design or a pattern onto someone, we are incorporating the vibrational frequency of that pattern into the person. We are adding the vibrational energy that symbol or design emits into that person. Everyone has their own vibrational frequency and when you add a symbol or design that is on its own vibrating a beneficial energy we are now raising that person's vibrational frequency or at least aiding it to come back into uh, balance if that person is uh, not in balance or, or stuck in a low vibrational frequency we're able to raise or bring back into balance the vibrational frequency of that person the human being is an open energy system in a, in a conscious and continuous dynamic interaction that is influenced and influences the surrounding environment. Uh, the environment must be regarded as an integral part of the biological system. Our skin is the physical border between our inner environment and the outer environment. It is actually in communication. It's actually a communication system with its own uh, meridians, chakras, and ac acupuncture points. Our skin with these windows and doors must be seen as a very important communication layer uh, where the exchange of information between the inside and outside takes place. In many cultures, the skin is regarded as the keeper of information on every aspect of our lives. This understanding is the concept that our skin uh, speaks to the universe, yielding it all our inner secrets. And also, uh, on the other hand, the concept that our skin draws the entire information of the universe into our hearts. Kiri o tua. The skin is the air of the body. When a, line, a certain line or shape is placed within the body's energy field, uh, or within the skin itself, there is a vibrational frequency and energy signal now being received an environmental signal this now becomes part of the individual's vibrational frequency there are ways to measure this energy in a design and there are ways to test and ensure uh, the design is in resonance with the person receiving it uh, we can see through these techniques if the design needs to be tweaked or changed in any way to uh, bring it more into alignment with that person. I've been shown these techniques and they are a really interesting uh, tool to guide you through the design creation. Uh, this energy and vibrational frequency I myself have witnessed and you probably have as well in different aspects whether uh, through a tattoo or holding a sacred treasure, or carving, or when looking at an ancient symbol, or being in a place of ancient importance. You can feel the energy like an unmistakable power, sometimes subtle, uh, sometimes overwhelming, but it's there. For example, when uh, I've been present when a person is receiving a mataora, the Māori uh, full face tattoo or the mukokawai, the woman's chin tattoo, uh, you witness a huge shift in their energy. 
The person at the end of the session is not the same energetically as when they walked in. You witness them standing there afterwards and it's, it is unmistakable that their vibrational frequency has risen. They are now vibrating at a higher frequency with the energy of the pattern and the connection to their ancestors and the ceremony involved. Uh, this has all played uh, important parts in raising the, the frequency of that individual. And it's, it is unmistakable that the patterns and the, the resonance to the past and the ancestors who wore them uh, have been brought together. <clears throat> and this is with all cultures. If you're tattooing the designs and patterns uh, of your culture on you, then you are receiving the energy and the vibration that was programmed into them long ago. The same, uh, the same when you hold a sacred carving or tool or treasure, you feel the energy coming from that item. The pattern and the symbols carved into the, the piece are emitting these powerful frequencies. They are noticeable, they are measurable, and they are meaningful, and they have purpose. What's awesome is that once we understand what's going on here, and how we can create certain designs and patterns to be tattooed, we can ensure they are in alignment with that person, that the design is facilitating its purpose for that person. We can ensure it is in vibrational resonance with the wearer of the tattoo. We can incorporate whatever shapes and patterns that emit the certain frequencies that that person requires or desires uh, for healing, balance, strength, uh, whatever the purpose is. Understanding this and the techniques open up the way of the ancestors and the way of our future. Tattooing is and can be so much more than just getting an image or pattern on your skin. Your tattoo is not a static mark without function. It is a vibrating energy emanating its purpose into your own body's energy field and it can be programmed and purposed for whatever is needed or required. Shapes have shown positive effects on the body's energy field. Biogeometrical -ge shapes produce a balancing effect on biological systems. The, the impact of geometrical shapes on the human uh, energy systems uh, was always universally recognized in, in our ancient cultures. This uh, awareness gradually disappeared and our modern approach is to consider uh, the ancient forms either as symbolic art without function or attribute them to the magical practices. Well, it is magic. The tohunga, the shaman, the druid, they all understood this and it's time to bring this back. It's time to honour uh, the knowledge of our ancestors. We have not been listening for so long now. Let's listen again. Uh, let us reconnect. Sacred symbols and shapes that um, not only have symbolic value, but also emanate energies that facilitate a connection to spiritual life. Uh, all this information and knowledge I will be sharing in uh, some upcoming courses I'm putting together. Uh, I'll be going deeper into dis into discussion on the um, elements I have just been talking about and will be talking about in future podcasts <clears throat> and all the branches of uh, this work. I'll be sharing techniques, tools and uh, guidance on approaching and creating designs that have the desired energy programmed into them and ensuring they are emanating what we want from them. Uh, so these Courses will be coming up. Um, I'll be you know, putting that out there and you'll know when they're ready. Um, so yeah, there's, I've got a lot more podcasts coming up uh, talking about other aspects. So um, yeah, keep tuning in and let's see where this takes us. Thank you.